So today we finished um, the last part of the uh, Sphero series, the Chakra series, whatever it is that you remember from it. Um, there was a lot of videos where I talked about how um, the Sphero, and currently when the Sphero is Omer, there's 10 dimensions, 10 attributes, 10 measures, 10 wheels, 10 orbits that make up the energy centers, gravity centers, however we want to um, connect with it. And the magnetic centers and um, seven of them, like below the head, um, inter-include and over 49 days, seven times seven, we go through each one and connect with and clarify and align and properly balance everything over there. Now, um, the chakra centers do not exactly match chakra meaning wheel but we can learn from that construct because it's in a more like english language and um there are uh more people who studied about the chakras rather than um who really went into great detail in a public way about the sphero until now because um you know in judaism we don't want to anthropomorphize god we don't want to make it sound like god has a right arm a left arm a left leg and a right leg that would make God seem like God is a human and we don't worship human body. We say that we have the spark of God that animates and vitalizes our body. So it is that the chesed is one attribute corresponds to the right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. And there is this torso, the spine, this line. And the chakras are built all on just a line. So um, the supernal man, primordial man represents us. We're made in the image of God. And... In both these systems, we have a crown. So as I mentioned, for 49 days from Passover to Shavuot, which is translated also as weeks, there is sort of this holy day journey to become whole, to become healed in the seven by seven. But there are three more and even one extra. The top three are um, related to our intellect, to our what is called the Godhead, right? In, in, in our form, we can understand it as the part of us that can imagine, can think, can want. This is the uh, the head with the with the neck, and how do they connect the body and the mind? The mind is sort of the seat of the head. Um, we can actually connect our whole mind, our whole body, and so this is why I like to use some of the chakra information because there is that line going through, even though um, they split off and go into um, right and left. Uh, for the arms, the legs, the limbs, right? And, um, you know, the uh, the main place that the chakras all fall into is to ferris, which is the torso, and the head. So if we go into the head, we do have left and right. However, with the chakras, we just have that straight line. So clearly, I'm not saying chakras and spheros are the same, but after that introduction, I want to now say, so we have Chabad, um, which many people have heard of. It's the Hasidic uh, lineage, um, not quite the founder of Hasidus, but very shortly after a few uh, a few iterations came the Alter Rebbe, or in English we would say the Grand Master. And he said, you know, you do have your Chachma, your Bina, but there's something new that's born out of it, which is your Das, your knowledge, your the, the applied or practical or transformed or creative, destructive, ramifications or effects or basically the baby so you have two parents you have your wisdom and your knowledge sorry your wisdom and your understanding or basically the dot and then you you could not das okay hold, let me back up the point let's not say dot the point the point that is chachma an idea and the light comes in and then bina sort of fleshes it out bina is like the mom she has one seed the seed then could develop into a whole baby. This one little point can become tons of information. You know, you have an idea and then it becomes something. It become it has a body and a soul in it. Um, you know, you could think of it as a business, as a house, as a hobby, something. And then something comes out of it, which then is intelligence, which then is information, which then is something that you can, its own entity that you can, no, it's knowledge. It's really knowledge. And when Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, we say that they were transformed by it. They now took in something that they didn't have before, and it became intermingled and merged with 
not merged, but intermingled in such a way they couldn't tell the difference between good and bad because they ate from that tree of knowledge of good and bad. They now knew that's good and that's bad rather than everything being good. Okay, so where did the light come from to get into the right side of the head, right? We talked about the right side of the head being Chachma, the masculine, and the left side of the head being Bina, the feminine, and then Das being the child. Before we get into the body, we have just, this is just the head, almost like the disembodied head. And uh, then we have Keter. Keter is our crown. Keter sends the light in, and that's where Chachma gets its light. So we're going into Keter now. Actually, it literally means crown. And we're going to learn from Liz Simpson, who talks about how, um, you know, using the, the chakra that is the crown, um, we can understand our crown. And it's our literal, and I, I've talked in detail about it in the previous video. And um, we're now going to do a practice. So our crown is connected, to, it's our, um, it's, it's our almost like magnetic, um, empowered, direct connection to our godly, divine beingness. And so we're going to say some affirmations. I tune into the union with my higher power. I tune into the union with my higher power. I'm starting to accept myself as I am with love and gratitude. I am starting to accept myself as I am with love and gratitude. I'm a unique and radiant loving being. I'm a unique and radiant loving being. Now, if you like one, you pause it. You say it more times. I'm just saying them twice. I choose to live a life from a place of love and contentment. I choose to live a life from a place of love and contentment. And I want to pause here and say the crown is associated in the refined Kabbalah, which is called Hasidus, right? So Kabbalah has that sephirotic tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil um, is not the tree of life. And the tree of life is the Kabbalah. And so we're returning to that, right? We're going to like get rid of the snake and, and death and what happened in the creation story when they ate from it, right? And so we might say like artificial intelligence, some people think is related to the snake. It's supposed to be our servant. The snake was supposed to be their servant. Okay, their friend, you know? So I want to just add, you know, the crown in Hasidus, which is like I said, refined Kabbalah. Um, we learn about the Sphero. And that's why Chabad could come out of it, which is specifically using the mind to overcome, you know, impulses and, and uh, you know, traumas and overwhelming emotions and when we say mind we mean the godly mind um our intelligence is our servant and then our godly mind is beyond intelligence in other words it's the source of our desire and our pleasure that's our crown okay continuing i cease to limit myself intellectually and in creativity and connect with my spirit to the source of knowledge i cease here that source of knowledge i cease to limit myself intellectually and in creativity and I connect with this, my spirit to the source of knowledge. I, cho I choose to transform my life and become free. I release all limited thought and lift myself up to ever higher levels of awareness. I choose to transform my life and become free. I release all limited thought and lift myself up to ever higher worlds of awareness. I am who I am and I glory in that. I am who I am and I glory in that. Now we ask some questions. I've answered them a couple years ago, but you can always return to these questions. Do you retread familiar thoughts and behavior patterns? I tend to get attention in superficial, counterproductive ways and make excuses for myself and blame others for toxic inner critic. Now, you can never get me to say that. But when I'm connecting with my crown, I can see what I'm doing from my higher self, right? I'm going to read it again. This is what I learned. And I've been working on it since I learned it for years, For since I wrote it, which I, I don't remember exactly how, if it's, you know one, one and a half, two years, something like that. I tend to get attention in superficial counterproductive ways and make excuses for myself and blame others for toxic inner critic. Okay. Two, does your personal identification begin and end with job, economics, or can I describe an essential need? Less judgments of myself and perfectionism are from a factory mindset and seeing it's not clear who is helping who and that power status is very vague and malleable. I love that answer. Um, in other words, less judgments of myself in perfectionism or from a factory mindset in order to see. And it's not clear who is helping who, right? And that power and status are very unique and malleable. Vague and, vague and malleable, not unique, sorry. Basically, in my uniqueness, it's hard to tell who's really in power. It's vague um, and you could shape it. Three, can you reserve time for daily meditation? I try to use my task mastership uh, qualities or tendencies to schedule and prioritize meditation or similar style activities that have the effect of liberating me into or from 
Four, do you believe you two can achieve mystical states of consciousness? I do. And even become arrogant, then it takes over and I, you know, then it gets taken kind of away and I have to start again. I guess I more prefer the proactive, uh, the practice of limiting myself through status to avoid falling from grace. I don't want to get too much in anyone's graces, but I do want to receive grace. It's interesting that I wrote this because I feel like I've been working with this recently, perpetual grace, but I don't want to fall from grace. So sometimes I don't want to get too high on the status. Um, are you in control of your destiny? Number five. No, I can only choose if I'm open to the future or committed to the past. And I can only make that choice in the present moment where I have agency. And that's where we know the, the prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Now we know we cannot change the past. We know that we could do something about the future. That's really also a very large part of it. Six, is there an issue in my life I'm, you know, uh, uh, trying to control through sheer willpower. Yes, there's a person named Michael. I worry to leave him into the other's hands, even though God can be with him. And with there was this man, David, that he wants um, to be someone he isn't, and I'll wrongly believe it. So this is over... Okay, this is longer ago than I thought. Um, so when I believed in someone who turned out to be, you know... Uh, Despite it, the good point we know that everybody has, it's a Jewish idea, everybody has a good point, original divine spark, and he has, everyone has their crown, right? And still, somebody who chooses to be a low life or a wicked, in other words, dog eat dog world, step on other people, leave their place and put someone else in their bed, in their bad place where they didn't want to be. It's literally called throwing someone under the bus. Um, and I, I was scared that he was he was a fake. He turned out to be a fake. Um, okay, summarizing the chakras now, even with the planets, is something we can understand because, for example, chesed is related to Jupiter. Chesed's all about expansion and opening. So, um, but, the, but the chakras are not exactly lined to the spirit. So let's see what we could do with this. The root, our root is Saturn. It's the earthly baggage that prevents us from moving toward our higher self, placing unnecessary limitations on ourselves from family, culture, and society. Ego, fears, doubts, rules, the need to control that we base security on, but they weigh us down and imprison us. So this is when um, people say, like, get out of your mind. Uh, oh, sorry. Get out. Get out. I want to get out of my mind. It's because our mind is, like, stuck in our roots. So thinking of ourselves as outer, we have the whole outer space as our, you know, um, extended environmental aura. And we have, each one of us is the, whole, is the whole universe. So we have Saturn in us. We have all the planets, right? And this is not against... The Jewish Kabbalah teaching at all. In fact, like I mentioned, the the um, the 